Muli sa araw na ito, I welcome everybody to another event wherein the Lord is going to move in our midst. And this program, Cheer Up the Word Works. I am once again blessed na maihayag sa inyo ang uh, salita ng Diyos na kung saan ito po ay magagamit natin para sa ating para sa ating buhay, sa ating mga pinagdadaanan sa panahon ng pandemya. So, inaanyang ko muna-muna ang bawat isa na nakikinig at nanonood sa programang ito sa maikling panalangin. Samahin niyo ako. Panginoon Diyos, maraming salamat muli sa pagkakataon ito na muli ka namin makapiling, maranasan namin ang inyong katapatan, Panginoon, at makita namin, Panginoon, ang kadakilaan ng inyong pag-ibig sa amin. Salamat banal na Espiritu Santo ng Diyos na kasama, bukod na kasama kita, ang iyong presensya ay kasama ko. Sa oras na ito, ikaw din ay kasama din ng lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon. Banal na Espiritu ng Santo ng Diyos, dalangin ko ang iyong pagkilos, hindi lang po para sa akin, kundi para sa lahat na nakikinig. Thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, for opening our minds that we may understand na maunawaan namin kung gaano kadakila, kawagas, kamakapangyarihan ang salita ng Diyos. Banal na Espiritu Santo ng Diyos, apart from you, we cannot do nothing. Thank you, Lord God, for your revelation sa salita na inyong ibibigay sa aming kalagitnaan muli. Sa araw na ito, ikaw ang patuloy na maitaas at matakila sa aming buhay. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your uh, for your blood. We praise you and we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your obedience to our Father. Because, uh, because of you, Lord God, Lord Jesus Christ, we have now the freedom. Meron kaming kalayaan na marinig at matanggap ang salita ng Diyos, ng Diyos Ama para sa amin. We praise you, Lord God. We praise you, Holy Spirit of God. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you, Father God. And all of these things, Lord God, ay binabalik namin na may pasasalamat sa iyong pagkilos, pasasalamat sa iyong pag-ibig. Sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. If you have your Bibles with you, you can open your Bibles in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. To other people, this sound, uh, this may sound redundant. So when I talk about the word redundant, ay paulit-ulit na lang. Ano ba yan? Parang siyang basag na palaka, paulit-ulit na lang. Parang mang, like, um, it sounds like a nagging mother. Alam mo ba yung pag sinabi mo nagging mother, eh, karamihan sa mga anak ay ayaw nila marinig ang kanilang boses na kanilang mga nanay. Bakit? Paulit-ulit, parang basag na plaka. Okay. So, however, sometimes, pag binasa kasi natin ang salita ng Diyos, I know, I know very well that you have also experienced this one. Like for example, like binasa mo salita ng Diyos. Okay, you are reading the Word of God, you're reading the Bible. Okay, for example, like uh, merong ano, umatid ka ng isang Sunday service. Or for example, like you're watching or you're listening to this kind of, or, to any program like this, such as this one, like Cheer Up the Word Works. So you would be hearing, so for example, like the same um, Bible verse, the same chapter, the same verses from the Bible. So sasabihin mo, alam ko na yan, narinig ko na yan. So, however, there will come a time, sabi, ko nga, sabi nga ng salita ng Diyos, na ang banal na Espiritu, sabi ng Panginoong Jesus sa kanyang mga disipulo, darating ang panahon na siya ay kailangan, kailangan niya ng umakit sa langit. At huwag kayo mag-alala, kasi pag akit ko sa langit, ay ipapadala naman ng aking ama ang, uh, ang ating advocate. When we talk about advocate, kakampi. So, ito ang banal na Espiritu Santo. So I believe that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Father is within us. It's in your spirit. Okay. So, as sabi ng salita ng Diyos doon, the Holy Spirit is going to reveal many things to us. He is going to make us understand His Word. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we may not understand it, but the Holy Spirit is going to make you understand. The Holy Spirit, siya ang magpapa unawa sa iyo sa kanyang salita. It says there in 1 John uh, in John chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. In the beginning the word already existed. 
the word was with God and the word was God. Uulitin ko, in the beginning, sa simula pa daw, bago pa magkaroon ng mundo, bago pa magkaroon ng uh, ng solar system, you have the the the, the eight planets before you, uh, and, and then the, the the sun. Before you have all of these things, bago pa magkaroon ng universe, ito yung uh, na kung saan nakapaloob ang ating solar system. So before everything was created, bago pa nangyari ito, there was the word. In the beginning, the word already existed. Bago ka pa pinilikha, bago pa nagkaroon ng Adam and Eve, bago pa ginawa ng Panginoon ang mundo, the word already existed. Buhay na ang salita ng Diyos. And the word was with God. Ang salita daw ay kasama ng Diyos. And the word was God. At ang salita ay Diyos. Father Penan, ito ang Bible. Hinirap ko lang kay Brother Aldi. Ito ay Bible. There are many forms of Bible. Ito ay uh, Tagalog. So, merong iba't ibang mga uh, versions ng, ng, ng Bible. So, for example, like, ibig sabihin, ito, Brother Penan, di ba you're talking about the Word of God? So, this is the Bible is the Word of God. So, any form, uh, ang lahat ba ng Bible, uh, ang lahat ba ng Bible na ating binabasa ay ang Diyos? Not literally. Okay? Not literally. Okay? Not literally. The Bible is very important. Tandaan natin, brothers and sisters, the Bible is very important. But let us not rely on the Bible itself. Why? Itong Bible na ito, pag nasunog ang bahay, nasunog ang bahay, for example, nasunog ang bahay, o nasunog, wag naman ang bahay, nasunog ang isang, for example, like ang pagawaan ng Bible. For example, nasunog ang pagawaan ng Bible. Siyempre, pag nasunog yan, lahat yung mga pages na yan, sunog yan. So the question there is, Asa na yung Bible? Asa na yung kapangyarihan ng Bible? Okay? Let us not rely on the Bible itself. The, the Bible is only a tool for us in order for us to read the Word. But re, let us always remain concentrated on the Word doon sa iyong binabasa. Kasi nga, pag nang yung salitang binabasa mo, for example, like you have read this verse at nagrema ito sa'yo, Mam, andun yan sa puso mo, brothers and sisters, hindi na maaalis yan. Masunog man ang lahat o mapunit man ang lahat ng Biblia, yung salita ng Diyos na nananahan sa iyong puso, hindi hindi mawawala yan. Okay, let's go back again there. It says there, in the beginning of the world already, in the beginning, the world already existed and the word was with God and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything. ginawa ng Diyos, ng, ng Diyos Ama, ang lahat ng bagay. God created everything through Him and nothing was created except through Him. Ginawa ng Diyos ang lahat ng bagay. Ultimong yung mga uod, ang, ang meron ano kong mga halaman sa bahay, ang gaganda nila, kaso nga lang eh, nagkakaroon na sila ng mga pingas-pingas. Bakit? Kasi kinakain sila ng mga uod. Hindi ko malaman, hindi ko, hindi ko matanggap. Siyempre kasi gusto ko yung mga halaman. Ngayon, hindi ko ma... I cannot just help like, ano, to get angry with those, ano, with those caterpillars. Kaso nga lang, hindi ko sila... I cannot blame them. Kasi ngayon ang pagkain nila eh. So, sige, sabi ko na nga, ginawa ka naman ng kayo ng Diyos eh. Nonetheless, everything was created. Yung uod, um, how do you call that? The, the, the weeds that you eat, the, the air that you breathe, the water that you drink, These are all God's creation. Okay. And then God created everything there. And then here, in verse 4, the Word gave life to everything that was created. The Word. The Word, again, the Word gave life. Ang salita ng Diyos ang nagbigay ng buhay sa lahat. And, and the Word gave life to everything that was created. And His life brought light to everyone. Ang kanyang buhay na ibinigay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, ito ang nagbigay ng liwanag sa lahat para sa atin. The Word gave life to everything. So, it is very essential, significant, important, napaka-importante 
aking mga kapatid sa pananampalataya na napaka-importante po natin magbasa ng salita ng Diyos. Let us not neglect the power of the Word. Sun- attending Sunday service, um, attending Sunday service, for example, like Sunday, lagi kang umaattend ng service, or like, for example, like in this kind of program, or for example, like the Cheer Up the Word Works, lagi kang nanonood. This is actually useless, brothers and sisters. I'm not telling you na huwag kang umaten, but rather I'm telling you, this is useless. Walang kwenta ito kung hindi natin isa sa puso ang salita ng Diyos. Ang sabi nga ng Panginoon doon sa kanyang salita, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22, My child, anak ko, in effect ha, uh, tinatranslate ko na lang siya, my child, anak ko, pay attention to what I say. Remember, everything that you say, ang lahat ng lumalabas sa iyong salita, ang tawag dyan ay salita. In, in academics, if you go to school, ang sasabihin nila, if you're going to pronounce the letters B-O-Y, B-O-Y, boy. Boy is a word. So, everything that we say is what you call a word. Everything that you write is also what you call a word that gives meaning to the letters. Okay? So, pag sasabihin mo yung B-O-Y, pag, uh, pag isusulat mo B-O-Y, and then you're going to pronounce it or you're going to write it, so, boy yan, so, understood yon, lalabas sa isang yung isipan, na yung boy ay batang lalaki. So, it's a word. Ang sabi ng Panginoon dito, My child, pay attention to what I say. Anak, pagtuunan mo ng pansin lagi ang lahat ng aking mga sinasabi. Remember, everything that you say is word. And then the Lord is, our Father God is telling us, My child, pay attention. Tingnan mo. Bigyan mo ng pansin ang bawat aking sinasabi. Listen carefully to my words. Listen carefully to my words. Do not lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life. They bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. The word of life, the word of God brings life. The reason why it's, if you're going to compare people, if, if, you're, going to, if, if you're going to compare two people, dalawang, dalawang tao yan, yung isang tao ay mayaman na mayaman. Ang dami niyang pera. Kaya niyang bilin, for example, ang buong Pilipinas. For example lang, ganun siya kayaman, in effect. However, Pag siya kayo nagkasakit, asaan siya? Nasa ospital. Ang lahat ng pera natin ay may hangganan. Kaya lang niyang bilhin ang mga bagay na pwedeng tumulong sa atin na maging masaya. Everything that we have, listen here, my brothers and sisters, everything that we have, everything that you have, has limits. Kahit yung nanay mo, kahit yung tatay mo, kahit yung mga kapatid mo, yung mga mag-anak mo, yung asawa mo, lahat ng bagay, yung gadget mo, may limit yan. Gadget, tong gadget na to, cell phones na to, for example, like, wala kang charger, wala kang, uh, um, you cannot use your, your, your cell phone without a charger. Paano kung walang charger? Paano kung walang kuryente? Eh di, it has served its purpose lang. Wala na, ayun na yung limit niya. Like, for example, like, nabasag siya, nasira siya, ayun na yung limit niya. Ang nanay mo, for example, like, like I mentioned a while ago, yung mga parents natin, the people that we love, they have also their limits. They cannot give everything to make us happy. But, ito, pero meron tayong isang tao dito na wala siyang ano, wala siyang, probab, probab, o sabihin mo na mahirap, hindi niya kayang bilhin yung mga bagay na tulad ng itong mayaman na ito ay nabibili niya para siya ay maging masaya. Pero itong taong ito, Wala siyang, ano, wala siyang ganong kalaking pera. Pero meron siyang kapayapaan sa kanyang puso. Meron siyang, meron siyang, makikita mo yung joy sa kanya. Bakit? Because this person has the Lord. This person has the Word of God. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, um, in, in, um, in, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, in, in, in Second Peter ata, o First Peter, ang sabi ng Panginoon doon, 
if you come to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is, when you come to know Him deeper, you must malalim. Hindi lang yung ang Panginoong Isa Kristo ay namatay para sa aking kasalanan, ang Isa Kristo ay pinako sa krus. Hindi lang yon. If you're going to know who Jesus Christ is, how much He loves you, how much He is for you, how much He favors you, then you will have Him. You would, you would come to realize that nag-uumapaw ba yung joy na magkaroon ka ng sakit, for example, nagkaroon ka ng sakit, eh, ah, okay lang yan. I know because the, I know uh, I know that the Lord Jesus Christ is with me. I know very well that His blood cleanses me from everything. I know that His blood flows inside my vein. Taalala ko tuloy yung kantang walang mahirap sa iyo. Higit pa sa iyong kailangan, higit pa sa iyong nararanasan, ganon kadakil ang Panginoon. Higit pa, kapatid, higit pa ay kayang ibigay ng Panginoon sa iyo. The Lord says there, my child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Going back again there, ang sabi niya doon ha, my child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Words. Again, in the beginning, the Word already existed. So, sino sinasabi ng ba ng, ng Diyos Ama dito na listen carefully to my words? Sino, ano yung words na yun? Yung ba yung salitang sinasabi niya? Yes. But he was actually referring there to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning, the Word, in the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He is referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. The word that the Lord, that our Father speaks out ay ipinamumuhay ng ating Panginoong sa Kristo. The reason why the Lord Jesus Christ is the Word of God. Ang buhay niya, ang buhay ng Panginoong sa Kristo ay ang salita ng Diyos. The reason why, listen carefully to my word. Listen carefully to my word. Listen to my Son, Jesus Christ. Because if you listen to the Lord, uh, if, if you listen to every word that the Lord Jesus Christ ge- says, it will bring life to you. May sakit ka, it brings healing to you. I would like to encourage everybody, brothers and sisters who are with me right now, I would like to encourage everybody, let's Naalala ko ito yung sinabi ni Pastor before eh. Yung mga early teachings niya. Mapagod ka na sa pagod. Mapagod ka na sa pagiging pagod. I mean like, you have you have exerted everything in your own mind. In your own mind. In your own mind. Mapagod ka na sa pagiging pagod. I guess this is the time for us to really know who God is. This is the time that we really have to read his word and when we read definitely brothers and sisters i it's very powerful the lord is alive and kicking hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 the lo- the word of the lord is powerful it's active the word is alive the word jesus christ is alive and it is working in our lives When you read the word, o kaya makinig ka, sabi kasi, it's one thing that the Lord had revealed to me sa panahon ng pandemya. Dati-dati kasi sa church, si Sister Presi, ang, yung isang kapatiran namin, elderly namin yun, Sister Presi ang lagi nagpap, nagdadasal para sa aming um, ikapo. However, it's because of the pandemic, we have to go online. And then in this online, in yung sa mga early part pa ng aming online service, it was pastor who always pray for our tithes and offering. At first, wala pa nga kami tithes eh. Then suddenly, the Lord has had revealed to us that we have to give our tithes. So, He started praying for it. One thing that made me cry there, it was a very strong revelation. Brothers and sisters, when you 
desire to know who God is, when you desire His Word, ibibigay niya yan sa'yo. Remember about the story about John? Di ba yung kay kay John? Yung sinabi nga niya na, ano, na maswerte ka. Sabi ng Panginoon si Kristo, sabi niya doon sa mga disipulo, kilala niya ba ako sino ako? Kung baga, in effect, kilala niya ba ako sino ako? Ah, kilala niya ba ako sino yung anak ng Diyos? In, to, to, to that effect. Tapos, uh, marami silang sinagot yung ibang disipulo. Tapos sinabi ni Pedro, ang anak ng Diyos ay ang Mesiyas ng Panginoon. Ikaw ang Mesiyas. The reason why the Lord Jesus Christ told him, maswerte ka, Pedro. Maswerte ka, Pedro. Dahil ipinahiwating o ibinigay sa'yo sa iyong karunong at kaalaman ang tamang sagot kung sino ako. In effect. Same thing also with all of us. There are probably 1,000 people inside a conference room. There are probably 1,000 people inside the church. But not all of them, hindi lahat yung 1,000 na yun, ay tatanggap sa salita ng Diyos. There will be only few inside the church. Dito sa ating ginag- ginagamit na Church of the Word Works. For example, like you, every, there are so many people listening to this one. But there are only few people who will truly understand. Why? It's because the Lord sees your heart. At nang nakita ng Panginoon ang iyong puso, ang iyong naisin na marinig at maranasan at maintindihan ang kanyang salita, ibapahiwating niya sa ibibigay niya sa iyo. The Lord is going to reveal to you. Ganun na nangyari kay, Pe- kay-, kay Juan, ay kay Pedro. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, mapalad ka Pedro dahil ipinaunawa sa iyo o ipinaalam sa iyo ng Diyos Ama. Mapalad ka. Mapalad ka, brothers and sisters, who are with me right now listening to this part of the program because the Lord is talking to you right now. During those times, si Pastor sinabi niya, when he prayed for the tithes and offering, he prayed there uh, that if we give our tithes, pag ibibigay natin daw ang ating ikapo, tatlong bagay ang, ang ibibigay ng Panginoon doon. Una ay ang pagpapala. Kasi yun ang pangako niya sa Malakes, in Malakay chapter 3 verse 10. Subukan mo, subukin mo ako kung hindi ko ibigay ang masaganang pagpapala. Then second one, uh, 11. Yun yung chap, uh, verse 11. At hindi daw papapabayaan ng Panginoon na sirain o wasakin ng isang peste o ni Satanas ang lahat ng iyong pinagkukuhanan ng pera. 11. But the third thing there is, yung third revelation doon sa akin doon, ay, at uh, napagpahalan din din aking puso, ay sabi, ni, sabi ng Panginoon, through pastor, ay hindi ka magugutom. Hindi ka magugutom at hindi ka mauuhaw. Not literally that you will not be getting hungry, kundi palbawang meron ka na agad problema, meron kang problema, ibibigay na agad ka agad ng Panginoon ang kanyang salita. For example, like if you have if you're sick, kung meron kang sakit, natatakot ka, meron kang uh, hindi ko wala kang panlasa, meron kang wala kang may meron kang sipon, blah blah blah, natatakot ka. You have this fear, then the Lord is going to give you his word. At pag nabasa mo ang kanyang salita, may kapayapaan ka sa kanyang puso. May kapayapaan ka sa iyong puso. That's how powerful it is. That's how powerful the word of God is. It says there Ang sabi ng Panginoon doon, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, It is the same with my word. It is the same with my word. I sent it and it always produces fruit. I sent it. It is the same with my word. Word talks about Jesus Christ. It is the same with my word. Ganon din ang Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Ipinapadala ko, at ito ay lagi magbibigay ng bunga. It is the same with my word. It, well, I send it out and it's always going to produce fruit. It will accomplish. Gagawin niya. It will accomplish all I want it to do. Gagawin niya ng salita ang lahat na ninanais ng Diyos Ama. And it will prosper everywhere I send it. If you need healing in your body, the Lord is going to give you His Word. And if you're going to utter it, 
if you're going to utter it, if you're going to confess it with my mouth, not with your mind, if you're going to confess it with my with your um with your mouth. If you're going to confess it with your mouth, ang salita ng Diyos, it is going to produce fruit. Imposibling hindi ka gagaling. Imposibling hindi aayos ang iyong relasyon. Imposibling hindi ka magbabago. Imposibling hindi ka magkakaroon ng pambili o pambili ng inyong uh, pangangailangan sa pang araw-araw. Imposibling hindi makapag-aaral ang iyong mga anak. If you confess the Word of God, the Word of God, brothers and sisters, is powerful and effective. Let me end this one. Let me end it on this one. If you're going to open again your Bible in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. Again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. It says there, And this word, again, sino ba, who, sino ba tinutukoy ng ang salita ng Diyos? It is referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. And this word, the Lord Jesus Christ, continues to work in you who believe. Tandaan mo, there are so many times that we have wasted in our past. Huwag mo nang balikan yun. Nasayang na yun eh. Ang harapin mo ay yung ngayon. Kung paano ka kinakausap ng Panginoon, harapin mo ngayon. Ang yung ngayon at yung hinaharap the future. Why? Jeremiah 29.11 The Lord has wonderful plans for you and His plan for you is to prosper you and not to harm you. And that includes when you talk about the word uh, the Lord has wonderful plans for you to prosper you that includes good health. Hindi ninanais ng Panginoon na magkasakit ka. Hindi ninanais ng Panginoon na hindi makapagtapos ang iyong mga anak. Hindi ninanais ng Panginoon na patuloy na masira ang uh, uh, ang iyong mga pinagkukuhanan o pinagkakitaan. The Lord is going to provide everything in order for you to meet everything that you need. This Word and this Word, Jesus Christ, continues to work in you who believe. Patuloy siyang kikilos sa iyong buhay. Patuloy siyang Patuloy niyang ipapaalam ang kanyang salita sa iyo. Sabi nga ng Panginoon doon, babalikan ko ulit-ulit yung Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Pay attention, brothers and sisters. Not only at this time, but every time that you're going to read the Word of God, every time that you're going to attend a, a, a Sunday service or any programs such as this one, marami yan. It's not only this one. Ito, ginagamit ng Panginoon lang itong part na ito, but there are so many. Like, you, you can watch also, like, for example, like Joseph Prince, um, Joel Austin, TJ, uh, TD Jakes, for example. You can watch also them. They give, the, they give God's Word. Ibinibigay ng Panginoon ang kanyang salita sa pamamagitan, hindi lamang ni Pastor, hindi lang sa akin, kundi uh, sa, sa marami tao. And then, as we continually to listen to Him, Pay, let us pay attention to what we say. Kasi napaka-importante, kapatid, ang lahat ng sinasabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Hindi mo makikita ang kanyang magandang plano sa iyo kung hindi mo alam ang kanyang salita. Praise God. Praise God. Always remember that. The Word continues to work. Hindi siya mapapagod. The Word continues to work. Hindi will continue, ha? Like in the future pa yun. Continued ay tapos na. Hindi it continues. Meaning to say, it's a habitual. Meaning to say, araw-araw yan. In, in uh, the meaning of the verb tense, it's like present uh, present tense. It only means to say, it's habitual. Pag sabi mo habitual, patuloy mo o araw-araw ginagawa. The, the, the word continues to work in you. Jesus Christ continues to work not only in my life, 
but He also continues to work in your life. Praise God. And you will not understand all of these things if we if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. So right now, I'm I'm uh, inviting you in a very short prayer sa ating pagtanggap sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Sige, tayo dumulog sa kanyang presensya. Sabi sa, sa ng Panginoon, kung meron dalawa o tatlo na nakakatipon sa kanyang pangalan, kung meron dalawa o tatlo, ikaw ay nakikinig, mag-isa ka. Ako, nasa kabilang end of the of the camera, andi dito ako, at ikaw ay nandiyan sa bahay mo. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang salita in Matthew, kung may dalawa o tatlo, dalawa na tayo na nagkakatipon, kasama natin ang Panginoon. At kung merong dalawa na sumasang ayon sa panalangin, nakikinig ang Diyos at kikilos siya, hindi lang sa akin, kundi pati sa iyo, kapatid. Thank you. Sige, tayo dumulog sa kapresensya ng Diyos. Remember, sabi ko sa iyo, while we are praying, the Lord's ear is so big that He is within us. Nasa gitna siya, natin dalawa. At kapatid, habang, habang mananalangin tayo sa panalangin ito, ramdam ko ang pagluha ng Panginoon. Hindi dahil siya ay namimighati, kundi dahil siya ay nagagalak at nagpapasalamat sa iyong pagtanggap sa Kanya. Sige, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Panginoon, Tinatanggap ko po na ako ay nagkasala at sa pagkakataong ito naunawaan ko ang kapangyarihan ng inyong pag-ibig na ibinigay sa akin. Sa oras na ito, tinatanggap kita Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang aking Panginoon at nakapagligtas ng aking buhay. Sa oras na ito, at sa, aki, sa haba ng aking buhay, binibigyan kita ng kalayaan upang kumilos sa aking buhay at ikaw ang maging Diyos ng aking buhay. Maraming salamat sa pagkakataong ito na maging anak ng Diyos. Maraming salamat sa inyong magandang planuhin para sa aking buhay. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Praise God sa inyong pagtanggap. And this time, let us all pray now for this day sa kanyang salita at sa pagkilos ng Panginoon para sa ating buhay. Tandaan natin, sabi ng Panginoon dito, um, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, Pay attention to my word. Listen carefully to my words. Do not lose sight of them. Huwag mo daw alisin ang iyong mga paningin, ang iyong mga mata sa salita ng Diyos. Let it penetrate. Let it penetrate deep into your heart. Bayaan mo ang salita ng Diyos ay talagang tumagos sa iyong puso. Kasi pag tumagos sa iyong puso yan, di ba sabi na, sabi na, actually ang salita ng Diyos, it, 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 is, it, it came from the Word of God. Pero um, alam din natin yon kung ano ang laman ng iyong puso, di ba? Kung, al- kung alam mo ang laman ng iyong puso, yun ang lalabas sa iyong bibig. Kung ikaw ay galit sa ta- isang tao, yan ang lalabas sa kanya. Mumurahin mo yun, at sisigawan mo yan. Pero kung ang laman ng puso mo ay punong-puno ng pag-ibig, you are going to give hope and love to that person. Let them penetrate deep into your heart for they bring life. Father God, we praise and we thank you, Lord God, for this time. Thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, once again for this opportunity of using me to bring to our brothers and sisters who are with us in this program that cheer up the word works. Thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, for sending your word. Salamat, Panginoon, sa kapangyarihan ng inyong salita, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoong Yesu Kristo. At ikaw, ang salita ng Diyos na nagbibigay sa amin ng karunungan at kaalaman, kapayapaan, pag-asa, kagalingan sa lahat ng aming mga sakit karamdaman. Salamat, Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Ikaw ang patuloy na maitaas sa aming buhay. 
sa pagkakatong ito, Lord God, mas dalangin namin ang patuloy namin paglalim sa inyong salita. Pagpalaan mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga nakikinig sa Cheer Up the Word Works sa oras na ito, lahat ng mga may sakit, symptoms man, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you destroy all of them in Jesus' mighty name. Let them find wellness in their body. Let there be restoration, Lord God, in, and wellness in their lungs, Lord God, Panginoon. I claim what you have said in Psalm 91, though thousand fall at our side, though ten thousand are dying around us, Lord God, this evil will not touch us because we made you, Father God, our refuge. And because we made you, Lord Jesus Christ, our Most High, you promised, Lord God, that no evil will conquer us. No works of the enemy, Lord God, will um, make its way into our mind. And no plague will come near our home. In Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord God, Panginoon, sa isang matagumpay na buong linggong ito. Hanggang sa mga susunod na Thursday again, Lord God, ikaw ang patuloy na maitaas at matakila, Panginoon. Salamat sa lahat ng pagkakataon, Lord God, na kami ay makapakinig at makapagbasa ng sa inyong salita. Once again, to you be the glory and honor, Lord God. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you all.